<laughs> Can William Samoe Arapruto, the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, successfully steal Raila Odinga's votes in the upcoming general election? That is the question which majority of Raila Odinga supporters are currently asking. Because they believe that Raila Odinga has always won the presidency in the past. And that his victory has always been stolen. And they believe that in this year's election, because Raila Odinga has the support of the system, William Ruto will not easily succeed if he plans to do that. But if you talk to majority of Raila Odinga supporters, they strongly believe that William Ruto has laid an elaborate strategy and plan to rig the elections. Will Ruto succeed in rigging this year's general election? For those who follow the politics of this country, William Ruto joined President Ruki Nyata and they first contested as a pair in 2013 and again in 2017, which means William Ruto has been at the center of election management in the past two elections. And there's a strong belief that William Ruto was actually the man who was charged and was responsible for ensuring Jubilee's victory. That victory was not delivered by the votes. It was delivered through vote rigging. And because the deep state is not supporting William Ruto in this election, and because William Ruto was part and parcel of the previous elections, there is a strong feeling amongst Raila Odinga supporters that Ruto might actually attempt to steal the elections. And they're giving three examples. Number one is the Chebukati, Ofula Chebukati's behavior. Majority of Raila Odinga supporters believes very strongly that based on Ofula Chebukati's body language, actions, and acts and omissions, he's leaning towards William Ruto. And they believe that Wafula Chibukati has serious links with William Ruto, dating back in the days. And they also give the case of Wafula Chibukati and Moses Masika Wetangula, and the fact that Wetangula is currently playing a key role for William Ruto in Kenya Kwanza, they strongly believe that Wafula Chebukati has a soft spot for William Ruto. Number two, they also talk of Davis Churchill factor. Majority of uh, Raila Odinga believes that the algorithm which delivered the presidency to Uhuru and Ruto in 2017 was actually engineered by Davis Churchill. And that Davis Churchill was the guy who hacked the IBC servers. That's what they believe if you go outside there. And that he was able to log into the chairman's computer and figures were manipulated. And, and Davis Churchill having served as a, as a commissioner with IEBC means he understands the operations of IBC. In this election, He's going to play a key role for William Ruto. Will he manage to do that without the help of the deep state? And the third example they give is the printing of the ballot papers. That IBC confessed that they were not even aware that ballot papers had arrived. And that even the way the tender was awarded. So Raila Odinga supporters believe that William Ruto is on top of things at IEBC and as far as this particular election is concerned. So in this video, I want us to look at why I strongly believe Ray Ludinga cannot allow William Ruto to steal his votes. And even if William Ruto had such plans, why I strongly believe that those plans cannot succeed. But before we get into all those details, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two 
click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you and to the subscribers i want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support without that support this channel cannot be where it is please for this particular video because i know it's interesting click that thumbs up button because that's the best way you can support the channel you can also help this channel by dropping your comments by sharing the videos and of course you know you can also drop me coffee if you like now let us get back to the question can ruto succeed in stealing reloading gas votes for me my answer is no especially for this particular election but william ruto is also a thorough guy elections in this country can always be rigged in the following ways the first way is electronic you know this country we vote manually then the votes are counted manually then they're transmitted of course what happens is you get to a polling station you are identified through digital electronic uh, biometrics once you are identified you are given the papers which means you will take manually cast them once you're done with that process as an individual you are supposed to go back home what happens after that is that these ballot papers will then be counted so if i voted for raila someone voted for ruto someone voted for wajakoya they'll be counted again physically or manually then they'll be tallied again manually and then that result is what will now then be transmitted electronically so normally uh, voting i mean votes can be stolen through that electronic process verification and also through manipulation of figures once they're transmitted the other case which is normally rampant is the inflation of figures you monitor how your people are voting and they turn out so you realize that in polling station a or b only 80 percent of people have turned up to vote and because the area is your stronghold let's say like in the last election what they did in central now they'll figure out okay at this time these are the number of people who have voted and because everybody was for Uru Kenyatta including Raila Odinga agents what they were now doing is that ballot papers would then be issued then they are ticked then they are ticked and then they are placed in then they are placed in those ballot boxes then they'll be they'll be counted and again even at the counting level if Raila Odinga got for example let's say 20 his figures will be reduced to say two or even five uh, uh, william i mean uhuru kenyatta's vote would then be inflated so that's another strategy of rigging and is very effective the third one is normally fake polling stations which which were actually noticed in the last election that they are you know we have so many polling stations then you create some fake polling stations where people don't really vote but agents and the system would have agents for all parties you know returning officers presiding officers just ticking 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 and then those polling stations fake ones will be counted that's another way of stealing the other way is normally the ballot stuffing which is an old way and that's why the electronic gadgets were, in, were being in, in, i mean were being used and even the verification so in this matter in this case once the voting is done and completed someone would come with the pre-marked ballot papers and then they'll find a way of stuffing them inside and that can explain what happened in the last election where over one million people woke up went to the polling station just voted for the president alone and never voted for mp mca women rep or any other position at those level but can william ruto succeed in stealing i'm not saying he's do, going to do that don't misquote me i'm not saying he's doing that but in case he has that plan can those plans succeed no one agents the main reason why Raila Odinga's victory has always been stolen is agents you know in this country you must have agents at each and every polling stations the agents should be someone who can actually die for your cause 
In the last two elections, what happened to Raila Odinga is that the system realized a weakness in his team. And they helped him identify agents in uh, predominantly Jubilee strongholds in those two elections. When the votes were being cast, they were there. When they were being counted, they were there. When the results were being transmitted, they were there. But they were not his people. They were, they were the voters of the other opponent. Or they were agents of Uhuru Kenyatta. So what would happen is that now they've, they've figured out that, okay, in this area, the, the turnout is uh, 86. We want to make it 92. How many more ballots papers should we fill? And because the agents are part of them, it's a collective agreement. So those ones are ticked. You dump them there. The agents would then agree that here Arela got 20, but we change it to 20. How, to, to, to 20, but we change it to 2. How do we do it? So they'll sign the figures which are counted. In this election, Raila Odinga will be lucky to have agents all over the country. These agents will be out to protect his votes. I don't think Ruto will have the capacity to hire his own agents and to hire agents to interfere with Raila Odinga's votes. Because of that, I strongly believe that nobody is going to steal Raila Odinga's votes. If Raila Odinga will lose this election, he will lose it because he lost it, but not because Ruto stole it. So the agents is one of the main things. And I, again, even paying the agents, that will, like for example, that will be done by various players. For example, Raila can say, in Moranga, where Mongi area, is the governor wants to be the cabinet secretary in my government, please take charge. Okay, Uhuru Kenyatta can use the deep states, the, those same same agents, the, the NIS who managed the elections, who are Raila Odinga's agents in the last election. They can be made to be Raila Odinga's agents. So that's number one. Number two, the deep state. You know, there are certain things you can only do and effectively if you have the support of the deep state. But there are certain things you cannot do without the support of the deep state. You try to do, you are caught. You know, in the last election, Jubilee, for example, was, was able to, to announce results from fake polling stations because they were part of the deep state. Raila Odinga's figures were deflated because they were part of the deep state. Now, there's no way without the deep state you will attempt this thing without the deep state support and the deep state will not know. They will know. And they will for you. And you'll be in trouble. So I don't think that Ruto is going to succeed. He would have succeeded easily. And that is, that's why Ruto is better. He would have easily succeeded, but he doesn't have the support of the system. So the system will monitor and thwart, monitor and thwart, monitor and thwart, and maybe just let the two gentlemen to square it out so that whoever wins will win. Number three, in my view, is the preemptive, preemptive measures. Raila Odinga understands that this election is a matter of life and death for him. Uru Kenyatta understands the same. And they know, for example, what Ruto is capable, capable of doing. So now they are taking preemptive measures. For example, this, this issue of 17 returning officers from one region out of the 48. I know they are taking preemptive measures so that when IBC will be now announcing the constituency returning officers, they'll be careful because they've already been caught there. And these guys will now be very keen on ensuring that the people who will manage elections at the constituency level are not really those people. You talk of the ballot printing. Now the agencies are out watching which ballot boxes are going to come from uh, Uganda or are they all going to be somewhere here just in Kenya from Mombasa. So the preemptive measures will not allow <laughs> the rigging 
to take place. And lastly, I think Ofula Chibukati himself understands that Reludinga and his brigades don't like him. Because they believe he'll rig Reludinga out. And because of that, Ofula Chibukati would also not want a situation where these guys will blame him again. I don't think he will be able to play balls the way he did in the last election. I don't know what to think. But for me, I strongly believe that there is no way William Ruto will succeed in his attempts to rig the 2022 general election. It's not going to be easy for him. The only hope and prayer I have is that let us have a peaceful election where as a Kenyan you go, you count, you cast your vote, it's counted, it's announced, and finally the results will count. Thank you guys, and please may you have a good day. Bye-bye.